just feels good to play well. I mean, we uh, we feel like we match up with anybody. So um, just having a chance to beat those two pitchers is a lot because I think it's two of the better pitchers in the country. How do you prepare your team to, to face starter pick, starting pitchers of that quality? We just talked about being ready. I said, because they're not going to give you, he, he's not going to fall behind in the count or anything. I mean, it was, you had to be ready and had to be able to have an opportunity to put three or four good at-bats together, which we did there in that first game. Were you expecting to get four runs of Eshelman in the first game? <laughs> I wasn't sure, but it was nice to get them. And like, we, we've, pitched, we've played pretty well against the better pitchers, Quantrill, Eshelman, the Clark kid down at the College of Charleston. We put some really good at-bats, so we're usually better when the pitching's a little bit better. I don't, it's a little different. Go ahead. What the heck happened in that top of the ninth? What's that? The, the, the collision of the play, interference. Happen oh, there? at the ninth, in the first yeah. one. Um, there was just an interference. He kinda, it was a force play, so there shouldn't have been any contact. And I think the guy went in and tried to go for contact like he was at second base. So that was uh, kind of drew us, drew our attention. So Ryan hitting low 90s. I mean, how's he look for you now? I mean, coming in. He's been good. He, he's he's been about right there. He looks a little more comfortable on our mound this week than he's been. At, you know, pitching everywhere else, he looks really uh, strong. And it's the it's that power breaking ball and slider too that make him uh, makes it a tough combination. And just as a committee, getting a 12 strikeout. You know, shut out performance from those kids. Talk about it was great. Um, you know, because Caleb Berger, he's still growing. I mean, he's he's getting better every day. Um, but our, our two other freshman guys that ran out there, Brian Hobby and Austin Foot, they were electric. I thought. I mean, they were. That was really the key to the game for us is to be able to bridge that together to get it to Ryan. Uh, in the first game, you put the bunt on in a couple places that uh, might have been controversial uh, with Rodriguez in the, in the third inning and uh, Pastor in the seventh. Um, were you putting particular – was there anything you thought that, uh, that you could exploit with that with Fulton's defense? I, I just think you're – with Eshelman, you're just trying to get him in scoring position and hope you get one that falls in. So that was really the, the key. He just doesn't give up many runs historically. So you're just trying to – you know, we usually don't bunt that early either. You know, but it was – it's just it was a lot to do with the pitcher on the mound today. And the, the performance of the bullpen in, in general, um, you know, what confidence does that, does that give you, you know, maybe as a uh, – to even out the disadvantage you have starting pitching time. We talk about it every game that our goal is to get into somebody's bullpen because we feel like once the game gets to that point, our bullpen matches up with anybody's in the country. And we just maybe, we may not have that front line closer, closer that's throwing 95, but we feel like we kind of have the three headed monster back there with Belcher and Harrison and Halstead. And then those other setup guys have been really good. How big is that uh, Rodriguez triple to start the second game? It was huge. I mean, boy, it's, it's nice to play with the lead. And so I thought just coming out from the break and be able to jump on somebody, I thought it was really good.